How y'all doing? I thought I'd do some basement shooting because it's cold outside and I'm still getting over chest cold. So I thought I'd walk you through my basement shooting setup. I got about seven yards here and there's laundry in the way, but I don't care. I'll show you anyway. That's a Samick Red Stag, uh, 45 pounds. It's a 60 inch bow. Uh, it's a little short for me. It gets a little, a little twitchy. Uh, I got my stuff here. This is an old fiberglass can arc or something like that. I actually found it. Um, and I adopted it. Um, it's probably about 18 pounds. The back quiver I got for Christmas, uh, right there. And some uh, arrows that I um, crested and fletched. My uh, wife added this little lovely band of gold uh, nail polish. Those and various other configurations. I've got a set of 400 spined uh, power flights. These are Eastern power flights. Um, these are 400. I got a couple of gold tip 400s in there. Um, and then I got some blackout X5 NVs, uh, 500 spined. And they're just a touch short for me, but uh, if I'm careful, I can shoot them with some of my bows. This is my first, well, I guess my second bow. I don't have my first bow anymore. It's a cap, what is kind of the Windstar 2 equivalent, but from a while ago I got it used uh, with some cap um, Evolution limbs, Evolution 2 limbs. Um, uh, I broke this bow a while back because I was trying to fix, I'll show this up in a, in, a, in a different video, I was trying to fix up these limb pockets. They're rattling around a bit, I thought they were anyway. Um, and I broke it, but then I just recently fixed it. I got an idea, and it's working well so far. I'll show you that in a new video. So this is my uh, basement range. Uh, for those of you wondering, I am um, <laughs> kneeling because if I stand up, I cannot shoot uh, in my basement because the ceilings are what? They're about six, six four. In some places, they're lower than that. Um, and I am 6'4", uh, so, uh, so I kneel down. Because you do what you can when you can't go outside, and you keep, or you can't breathe if you go outside. Uh, I had a tap somewhere around here. Uh, there it is. Uh, so yes, the quiver is excessive, but hey, it was a Christmas present and I want to use it. Uh, I got about seven, seven yards maybe, because I don't have a dryer right now. Because uh, we got a new one and didn't fit downstairs, so I got to take it apart. That's my life story. Uh, but yeah, about seven yards to that target. Uh, I haven't shot in a while, so uh, let's see. Actually, there's about six now that are moving forward enough so that I can see what's happening in the camera. Oh, I gotta start the other one. All right, so, well, let's see, uh, let's see what we can see. It's an experiment. Why not? Uh, Eastern Power Flight, uh, cheapy arrows. So these are 340 spine uh, with a 200 grain point. My draw is 31 ish inches, which is why I have such a heavy point. I've been shooting right since I started shooting, but um, I'm left eye dominant, which I've known since I started shooting. So I went out to the range for my first time out of the house in forever. It was sick. And I uh, had a friend who let me use a um, his lefty bow so I could test it out to see if I wanted to switch to left. Hold that thought. Because I do love the red stag, uh, but a fine a 60 inch bow is really twitchy. Uh, especially, you know, an inexpensive 60 inch bow is really twitchy uh, with my draw line. So, uh, uh, I'm thinking about getting a longer bow, but I was like, do I get a longer bow 
Like the the um the target book you saw is seventy inches. Well I like it. And I hit uh you know at this distance really tight groups. Maybe I'll do another one of those so I can prove it to you. And then I won't hit it because I'll try to prove it to you and then I won't be able to. Uh just because it's a more stable bow. Just oh, I wanna get a new bow, do I go get do I get a left hand bow? And I shoot terribly because I'm right handed and I've always shot right handed. So I'm trying to shoot left for the first time, and I'm like, well not the first time, but close, closest to, near enough is makes no difference. But I kind of like it, and I like the fact that I don't have to close my eye, and then I come home, and I just switch one thing about my form, I switch one thing about my draw, and I can keep both eyes open, and I can shoot those, but not necessarily reliably and not at every distance, it's because I shoot this more than I shoot anything else. See, that's what usually happens when I try to keep my eyes, both my eyes open. And now that I'm talking about it, I'm thinking about it. Because my left will just grab dominance. That was bad, that was my fault. And I know there are other archers out there that have that same sort of thing. Jeez. I don't know whether he's cross dominant or he's left handed the shot right or whatever, but Greg from from uh, 3D Archery and Archery 101, I really like both of those channels. But I think he's got a similar issue and he shoots both, so I think, well, either way I should learn to shoot both hands. Because you know, what happens if... I can't think of a practical reason why I should ever have to shoot both hands, but... I also can't think of a practical reason why taking up archery. It's better. Anyway, I'm hoping to make some more vids. So the weather warms up, it's not going to warm up anytime soon, but I can generally shoot okay down to about 7 degrees Celsius, which I have no idea what that is Fahrenheit. <laughs> uh, I generally shoot okay down to about 7 degrees before I, uh, it's too cold. I just don't like it. Fletch gone. It's alright. Then I'll do a fletching video next. I'm shooting instinctive right now. It's when I get to the point where I'm like shooting instinctively. Like I can shoot gap with other bows. I shot a couple more rounds after I uh, turned off the camera, but I lost that camera down there. Because uh, it. Um, only records a certain length before it shuts off. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you didn't, uh, then I hope I uh, can put up something else that you enjoy in the near future. Hoping to do a bunch of 3D stuff this year, um, get a new bow, do some unboxings, got some arrows to fletch up. It's gonna be some good stuff.